I just found out that the first people to go to Mars are now between the ages of 5 and 15. Little black kids. Try to be the first one to Mars. Try to get try to try to get into these NASA programs. That's all I thought about. That's all I thought about. Um, Do you think it uh, is feasible to live? A, is it affordable housing on Mars or what? What's the deal? No, 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 no. We, we're we're not going to Mars. Oh, okay. To live right. without them because it's, it's too many of us that love them. Okay. All right. And 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 and, and this this is something that you will only hear come out of black people's mouths. I know some good white folks. We are the only race of people to say that. You don't see a bunch of Chinese people sitting around talking about they know some good white folks. <laughs> you don't see a bunch of Indians, Native Americans sitting around talking about they know some good white folks. But we still looking for good white folks and they still pumping hot lead in your ass. Here's the thing. You can drop anybody into our neighborhood and they might get lucky and they might find you or me and point them along in the right direction. Flip the script. Drop us off in their neighborhood. We could lose our life because they scared of us. Why are you scared of us? Why are you scared of me? And you the one doing all the wrong. I don't get that. I don't get that, black folks. Um, I am a pro-black radical. I am down for black people. I'm, I'm happy to be nappy. We need to take care of our own. And we don't need any help from them. We have enough bankers, lawyers, TV entertainers, TV personnel. We have enough of all of that. We need to take care of our own. Period. Period. Die. But you know, we keep we, we we still looking for some good white folks, and they steady pumping hot lead. Come on now, wake up, black people. Wake up. So what do you see as the future of San Francisco, Kevin? Uh, money talks and bullshit walks. That's in San Francisco. That's basically that's everywhere. They're interested, they're interested in the color of your money. But then by the same token, they judge us by the color of our skin and not the content of our character. They have no idea. Hey, G. They have no idea that I run my own business. I've raised up two children with master's degrees standing behind this chair. They don't care. I still look like Ray Ray and Pookie. And that's how they treat us. Your president was head of the Harvard Law Review. So that must mean the man got some kind of sense. But in the last eight years, not only have you seen a spike in murders amongst African Americans You've never seen that office of the presidency disrespected like it's been disrespected these last eight years. I can't imagine someone in the Senate standing up calling Bush Sr. a liar. I can't imagine somebody wagging their finger in George Clinton, and George Clinton, Bill Clinton's face. Come on, man. We don't want to, 
we are the only people that don't that don't want to understand how this racist society works. If we did, we could come up out of this. So are you an advocate of us going to the polls and voting? You can't legislate racism, brother. Racism is in their hearts. I just found out the other day that Donald Trump has at least 10,000 supporters in San Francisco, the most liberal city in the world. So if they tell me that he has 10, that he has 10,000, I'm likely to believe it's 100,000. Because that's the way things work here. But we don't want to see that. That's not what we want to see. We want to, we want to stand around and hold hands, sing Kumbaya, and think everything gonna be all right. It's not, brother. They, they, they do not care about your, nothing. They don't care about nothing you got going. Only thing they care about is the grease for the machine. And the machine keeps going. Because we keep supplying the grease. There was a play back in the 70s early 70s called A Day of Absence and basically what it was was a day all around the world when black people just didn't show up didn't go to work didn't go to the plantation we need a month of absence not a day we need a year of absence to show our strength as a people. If we would spend our money amongst each other, we would be the second, third largest group spending money in the world. But we don't do that.